they won't listen to me. They won't spend the time to try to understand your shit that has substance in it. Your shit that has substance, and, and, and maybe get something that will mentally elevate them. But they'll spend all their fucking time trying to figure out what these mumble rappers are, tr are saying. They'll figure that shit out. They'll take however the fuck long it take. They'll figure that shit out. But you tell you tell them about their chakras, and, and you know what I'm saying the, the, the five, you know what I'm saying, and what the seven mean and the five percent and all that shit like this. Any type of enlightenment. Ah, right, come on, man, with that shit, man. Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap. Hey look, my name is Ayo Canseco. I'm the fearless leader of Ayo Nation. And this is the rap trap. I should have got the fucking narrator to say that shit, but obviously he's not Ayo Canseco or the fearless leader of Ayo Nation. Alright, we talking about PMB Rock, dog. The reason why, obviously, um, Understand the rap trap isn't just. Do I need to explain what the rap trap is? Do we need to refrain, like, like redo that shit? Like, once you get in this rap shit, you're pressured into doing certain things that you know are against your, uh, will go against your best interest. Um, like having to show money. On camera, having to show guns on camera, showing all of your fucking business, but that's the only way that you're able to propel your career. Like the people as fans, for some fucking reason, um, fans need to know that they're following, they're um, rocking with a winner. Uh, we're Americans, you know what I'm saying? That's why you can get famous overseas faster than you can over here. Because they, they're, they're not built on a capitalistic system. We're, it's ingrained in us. Capitalism is in our DNA. It's what we are. Money rules everything. There's no way that you can be winning and broke. You know what I'm saying? Fuck all that. You spiritually rich and you healthy rich and all that shit like that. Fuck that shit, nigga. Where the money at? You know what I'm saying? Like the city girls say, where the bag at? And it, it really explains. That's why they're so popular is because a lot of people think like that um Cambada isn't as popular as the city girl that lets you know something a lot of people don't agree with that state of mind um my nigga uh, Prince Castro you know what I'm saying like if you have not went and checked out Prince Castro, go to Prince Castro, just go to all his shit, YouTube and all that shit, man. He makes real fucking music. But for some reason, the realer you are, the longer it's going to take for you to get on. PMB Rock, the guy we talking about now, he makes right now music. Music that you can listen to right now. It's not going to last throughout the eons. He's not going to have a fucking catalog that everybody wants to buy up and no shit like that. He'll never have to worry about his fucking masters being sold to fucking collectors and shit like that. He makes right now music. His relevance is right now. That's kind of, that's, that's, as a, the rap, this channel is for musicians if you make music up and coming this is for you it really is um other people listen to it i'm sure you have mus musicians in your family also but this is really what it's about what i'm trying to explain to you is it is going to take longer for you to get on if you make content feel soulful music with substance 
it is going to take you longer to get on. You still have to go through the same fucking channels that these bullshit niggas do. But it's still going to take you longer because your shit is not going to hit as quick in the club. Turn to, nigga, we just turn to, bitch, this child, nigga, run, nigga. And it's a hit. Really, the, the nigga, to, to, a hit single is, nigga, if you put your stamp down in this game to where you have relationships with every fucking DJ in the country, you can you can sign artists to 360 deals because everything they have will be because of you and your fucking connections. I can get you, because of my connections, if I'm fucking... Uh, Atlantic, Epic, whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? I have, I have ties on, at, at the Breakfast Club, at Hot 97, at, you know what I'm saying, uh, wherever the fuck, Michigan, you know what I'm saying, the hottest club in these places, I know these DJs, and if I don't, all I gotta do is say I'm a representative of fucking Epic Music, and they'll do what the fuck I say for their fucking favor, because the DJ knows, if he's smart, he knows that making an alliance with Epic can boost me the fuck up because now I can say I work with people from Epic and now artists will pay me more just for me to talk to them. This game is just like any other game. It's all it's give a fuck about the fuck you can do. It's about who you know. Who, who are your friends? Right now, and this is what the fuck this shit is about. It's so fucking easy to make a hit fucking record. They snatched the rug of talent from under our fucking feet. They control who does what. I was in jail. I came home. I went to jail and caught a view with just her shit. Was, I remember she had that fucking mixtape when she was in the bathtub with her legs open and shit like that. It was like red or some shit. Like she had like a, a fucking um, bottle in her hand or some shit like that. Bullshit. Like you wouldn't even listen to that shit. Nigga, I went to jail and came back. I was in, I was actually, we was in a van going to goddamn, going to court and shit like that. Like, who the fuck that is? Didn't even sound like her. If I wanted to, like, and it was on. We got writers. We got writers. We got beat makers. We have engineers at Epic. We can do any fucking thing. We can make hits. All we need is a fucking warm body. That's it. So I can sign a 360 deal, but this is, you know, it's, it, it's, it's the confusing shit, um, on the, you know what I'm saying, on the artist side, whatever, like, that's why it was so fucking important not to let this soldier boy shit go on. Yes, he was the first to do a lot of bullshit, but it fucked shit up. It fucked shit up. Shit turned. Talented artists can't even fucking get in no more. People don't even want to spend the time trying to listen to your shit if it if it sounds more than two syllable type shit, man. They won't listen to me. They won't spend the time to try to understand your shit that has substance in it. Your shit that has substance and, and, and maybe get something that will mentally elevate them, but they'll spend all their fucking time trying to figure out what these mumble rappers are, tr are saying. They'll figure that shit out. They'll take however the fuck long it take, they'll figure that shit out. But you tell, you tell them about their chakras, and, and you know what I'm saying, the, the, the five, you know what I'm saying, and the, what the seven mean, and the five percent, and all that shit like this. Any type of enlightenment. Ah, right, come on, man, with that shit, man. Because it's not hidden. It's not hidden a lower. You know what I'm saying? It's not hitting them in the lower part. It's hitting them in the higher part. And they so fucking dead that this shit is shut off. This shit, that, 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 that their higher self is shut the fuck off. They become a slave to their lower self, which is their flesh. So this is all they can hear. This is all they can fuck with. And it's like, you know what I'm saying? They've done it. They pulled the rug out. We have to do something to change this shit. And that's what I'm trying to think about, man. I'm, th I'm, th I'm thinking. I'm trying to find solutions. And we're going to find them shits, man. We just got to put our heads together and continue brainstorming on how to get this shit back right. But with this PMB situation, just the, the same shit, man. Um, 
you have to give off the illusion that you're winning. I just told you that when you're a major label, you don't have to go to an artist and say, even though, yes, you can. You can win online. You can win online. You can win online. But in order to reach those heights that you want to reach, you need to be at those big places. And as Americans, once again, we're not patient. We're not patient. You can. You'll get to fucking, um, what is it? Uh, what do they have? Uh, uh, what did what the shit call Hot 97 have? The jam fest they have. Hot 97. It's some shit they have every year, whatever like that. Uh, 6 9 could couldn't come to that shit, whatever the fuck it was. But you can get there if you continue working. You know what I'm saying? Underground and shit like that. But what a label head will tell you is like, uh, you're doing your thing, man. But, you know, a lot of times when I have to write push, fans become, become they start looking at you like you, you're stagnated. And they'll give you an example. They'll give you a lot of examples of artists who didn't sign and just continue to go. Look at Go Yayo. Go Yayo was a Texas artist, underground and shit like that. Um, the nigga um, P from QC tried to sign on whatever like that. He didn't go for it. He thought he was still going to bubble up, keep bubbling. And he just a, a mid-grade artist at this point. You know what I'm saying? And, and you go look at his interview. He said he regrets not signing with him. And it's like, he won't say that shit. He a dumb nigga, so he won't just outright say, I regret it. But he said, if the nigga try to do it now, nah, I'll take that shit in a minute. But, everything is a gamble. You know what I'm saying? And a label head will bring it to you as if signing with them, you, know, you, you don't have to gamble anymore. It's set in stone. But you're not going to get no money. But we don't give a fuck what the fuck. We don't give a fuck what the fuck you say. After you sign a deal, no, you can tell them you got signed for whatever the fuck you want to say. Tell them you got signed for a meal and go rent a fucking Ferrari. They're going to believe it now. Go get all the jewelry you want. You know what I'm saying? Fake shit. They're going to believe it now. Rent the shit, whatever the fuck. They're going to believe it now because you're supposed to be on. You can't let it be known to the public that no, all you got is enough to get where you was getting one pound. Now you can get three or four of them. That's the only way you're going to sustain any type of wealth. They got this nigga PMB Rock at the house with scales and Ziploc bags and four pounds in the house. Buy 10 band in the house. They call this bitch with some narcotic type shit. So this whole popping pill crazy and shit like that. This whole got a whole criminal conspiracy charge in the house. They got a five hundred thousand bond, five hundred thousand dollar bond corporate assured. So that shit is what? What ten percent of five hundred thousand? You know what I'm saying? For both of them though, and that they still in, they still locked up. You gotta make hey man, look these motherfuckers. Damn, they home. Who you signed to? What kind of song you got out? Your name ring bell everywhere, and you got to call a nigga for 50 stuff. Hey, man, these motherfuckers. Oh, man. Oh, man. This, this is a fucked up situation. But that's the rap trap, dog. That's the trap. Like, you got you. And, and the way that the, you didn't move to the good side of town and shit like that. You didn't move over here to the suburbs of, uh, of fucking Philadelphia. And your fucking neighbors then told on you. They said the goddamn neighbor said, hey, there's a lot of traffic going over there and I smell marijuana. Come on, dog. Hey, smell marijuana? Come on, dog. You trust them neighbors like, and I, I be telling you niggas, dog, like y'all trust y'all people like that? Like you really, like, come on, dog. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you rocking like that, dog? That you really trust your, that one, it ain't about with this trap shit, dog, like with this street shit, period. It ain't about what the fuck you got going on? Like I said, if you could sell dope to yourself, it's all love. But nigga, this as soon as you sell that shit to one person, you didn't sold that shit to everybody. They didn't sold dope to. You fuck with these pounds in the house, nigga, and, and you, nigga, you probably blessed because nobody look at you like. And then and they had I forgot they got a stolen fucking forty in the house. You got a stolen, so they got dope and gun. I don't know how the fuck, nigga. I, I'm trying to, and I, I don't, so I think somebody said this nigga already a felon. I don't know what's going on, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. 
Somebody do the research, find out the nigga fell if he fell in with a stolen pistol. I don't know what pole they had. I don't know what pole they had. But this the rap trap. It's the trap. You doing shit that you're not supposed to be doing and you're putting all the spotlight on it. Doing shit that's not supposed to be seen, but you let everybody see it. You need to be low key, but you gotta let everybody see you. It's just what you have to do. I'm PMB Rock, but I also need money, because if I don't get this money, these motherfuckers gonna know that I, I, I took a goddamn $5,000 deal from whoever the fuck I took a deal from. Because I was broke as fuck. Y'all like my music and shit like that, but y'all wouldn't buy it like that. And, and to be honest, as a street nigga, if a nigga song got hot right now, a nigga wouldn't know how to monetize it. Let's be for real. Let's be for real. Niggas better know how to get in the comment section on YouTube, man. How the fuck nigga gonna find out how to monetize some goddamn music when folk like that shit? If one of you niggas' song went viral right now, you wouldn't know what the fuck to do. So, yeah, dog, it is a fucked up game, and that's why niggas gotta... And I'm telling you, dumbass nigga, dog. If you feel like music is what you gonna do, then you don't just do it. You learn everything about this shit. Same thing with your bitch. You don't just fuck her. You learn everything about this hoe. Who was her daddy? Why did, why did uh, her daddy leave her mama? Who raised her? What's her grandmama name? When her grandmama died? What her grandmama died of? Where her cousins at? That'll slow a lot of shit down. And I'm telling you to do all this shit before you fuck the hoe. But I don't agree with you rap niggas trying to learn the whole business before you put music out. Unfortunately, you don't have that type of time. If you're older than 19, you're already too old. A label's not gonna give you top dollar if you're older than 19. You're already too fucking old. This is the reason why Kid Boo had to lie about his 30 year old age. It's what it is, it's this game. So you don't have no time to wait, so I, I, I advise you to work on promotion, work on putting your face out there, but be learning at the same time. We not know we not we not the people that they try to portray us to be. We can, you know what I'm saying, we can we can multitask. Don't just do music and get high. Learn about this business. Ask people, talk to people. Have an open mind. Please stop believing that. Your music is just that thing because it's your story. My nigga, let me explain something to you. That thing called the internet killed all that uniqueness in the nigga's story. Now, every story that ever been told, nigga, then heard it at this point in time. Don't, don't nobody give a fuck. Your mama died. Nigga, your cousin got AIDS. And that shit, that makes this shit so real, man. This is a real story. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody gives a fuck. Have you not seen... They'll take the, the, the fake story over the real one nowadays. They'll take the artificial nigga over the real nigga nowadays. It's a different playing field. It's not fair no more. Get your shit together. Stop fucking playing out this motherfucker. And understand that when you do get in this game, if you're not willing to put yourself inside of the rap trap, you're not going to move as fast as these niggas that's on, that, that are inside this motherfucker. But one thing about it, I don't know if this is a goddamn TV. Look, man, we'll talk more about this later on. Ayo Conseco, make sure you hit the PayPal. Rap Trap, I'll see you all in a minute. Love.